In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. Well, loading screen. I, I guess I'll do my intro now. Welcome, Mech Warriors. We are playing uh, Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Pretty new game. I think it's only a few months old. Uh, pretty recent. Uh, she's supposed to be getting a patch pretty soon for an endless a free mode in April, this April. It's on sale, too. $10 off until... Oh. Until the 16th. Wasn't expecting it to load so quickly. Okay, so, um, I guess I get to play in first person. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, so if you've watched my Battletech series, MechWarrior and Battletech are the same thing. The, the difference, Battletech is the name of the series, been around for about 35 years or so. A MechWarrior is the name of a particular video game in that series where you pilot the battle mechs themselves instead of having the tactical management view. I, I don't necessarily think either is better than one another. Sometimes I'm in the mood to be in the cockpit, sometimes I'm in the mood for the tactical perspective because the the tactical method, it, the, the board game version allows you to do different things and different strat. Come on, everyone's waiting. Get to the Centurion at the far end of the hangar and we'll get started. Well, let me out then. God. Well, out stomps a victor. Very, uh, early assault mech, which, if you remember, is the heaviest class of mechs. Goes light, medium, heavy, and then assault. Uh, with every brand new game that I play, I have no idea how my computer will handle it. I have no doubt that my computer can handle MechWarrior 5, but I don't know how well it will play and record simultaneously. That's always the question with it. Uh, you should recognize quite a few of these mechs. I'm sure they'll have a few in here that don't appear in the Battletech game. We got a really banged up Shadowhawk. I, I do like this kind of more personal view. I do like that. I'm sure because we have a more personal view, there'll be things that aren't quite as tactical as the board game, which is why I think there'll be more than enough reason to play them both. So here is our Centurion. Easily recognizable due to it's kind of like Mohawk on its head, uh, which is supposed to be like the, the brush that the, uh, that the Roman Centurions would have. Uh, I guess we'll... In this game, their, their goal should be to try to give us the feel of, like, what it's like to be a pilot, since we're actually piloting instead of having the complete strategic view, but it should have a lot of the... All right, son. Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. He spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. 
What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, eh? You have to t please teach me how to eject. Keep this game... Smoking, I think. Go on and power her up. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you want to know about MechWarrior, this is a PC-exclusive game, and it's one of those times where, thank God it is, because, uh... This is a simulation game. And I don't mean, like, Goat Simulator. I mean, back in the day, simulation games, they focused on trying to be... Not necessarily realistic, but authentic. And as a result, you see all these buttons on my console? Well, the mech has a lot of features. Good. And you need a ton of buttons. Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly, and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. All right, so... Okay, good. W is... So, this... Uh, I gotta talk a little bit about the history of MechWare. So, right, I'm just gonna walk so I can have time to talk. This game is not... You're not a ninja. It's designed to make... It's designed to feel like you are controlling a giant robot. So it's clunky, not because the mechanics are trying to screw with you, but because it wants you to feel like you're using a giant robot. So it looks like I can't turn. I can, right now, I'm not turning when I'm doing this. I'm actually tor rotating my torso. So my legs are facing forward, but I'm just twisting the entire body of the mech to the side. Look at her go, right? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Well, I went like 18 kilometers. <laughs> Certainly is. Okay. Engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. You okay. Need a tactical display to see where you're going. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. What's that? A V? Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Oh yeah. So here you can see it. I'm moving my. Oh. Okay, now I'm actually steering the mech left and right. I actually... Okay. <laughs> you, you actually need the tutorial in this game. Properly. Try looking around in all directions. Good. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Your yeah, of direction course. of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. Naturally. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. I don't need that. I, I, I can I can keep track of my orientation. With your legs. Okay, so C is... Excellent. Okay, so now C brings me back forward. The or right. Then try aligning your legs with the torso this time. F? Okay, I'm probably going to make that shift C. So, basically what they're saying is, if I push C... I move, I automatically bring my torso center, but if I press F, Looking I bring my legs to my torso. <laughs> I'll make that shift C there, probably. Okay, so it's up, play. I want to be in the cockpit view. If you want to play MechWare the real way, you're going to play from the cockpit view. Wait, what are you looking at? Oh, 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 how do I hit the brakes? Looking at me, he would destroy me. Oh, there's a hunchback. Look at that. Let's go take a look at these guys. I, I can't say I agree with the color schemes. Um, I don't know. Turquoise and orange, I don't know. You guys need the... the over here, that looks like a locust. Yeah, look at this. You should be... Why, why can't I walk in this direction? Is there a reason for this? Oh, it must be off limits. So, right now... Okay, look, look in the bottom hand score screen. That's how long it takes me to change directions, or... So I'm walking backwards, so right now I'm going full throttle backwards. Now right now, I'm throttling up to go forward. See how long it takes me? It's, it's designed to make it feel like you're just in this big tanking monstrosity. So yeah, we can get a much better idea of how different the size of the mechs are. Oh, here's the trebuchet in the, in the battle tech. The strategy game, people really like that mech. I need, I'm going to need a shortcut for killing the engine to zero instantly. Well, not instantly, but automatically setting it to zero. 
So typically the way it works, the faster you're running, the slower you turn. The Centurion was made to have a good balance between speed and firepower. That's All true. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Ah, the fun part, right? Boy, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I spent stripping each one of those components and putting oh, it's them back together again? They'll bloody well work, No, it isn't. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh man, was he pissed. Captain Nelson. Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? Huh. He's a natural, just like his old man. I see humility is still in short supply, as usual. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. So reflecting on the intro, I definitely not as good as the previous or as the tactical game. Very business-like and it's like... The, the the battle tech game didn't require any dialogue at all to get the point across. Very artistic, so it it, it gives me the idea that the story of this game is probably going to be a lot more business like. Probably not going to. I, I'm not expecting a bad story, but I'm expecting a very business like story. That's kind of what I'm. Oh, so that's how I zoom in. How do I change weapons? I wonder. I mean, I guess we'll find out in a bit. Drone range. Mobile target practice. Authorized personnel only. Okay. Weapon systems are now online, gents. Be gentle, hey. Always, my friend. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I've mapped the auto cannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. I have 80 rounds of AC-10? That seems like a lot. What, what do I get to shoot? What do I shoot at? Oh. I guess anything I want? Let's destroy these, like... Take note of your ammo levels. Always remember to manage your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight. It could be your last one. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. How do I cycle weapons? How do, how do I change? All right, that's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight and and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Unless I override it. Now for the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. Press three? There's got to be a simple way to use your weapons. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Target acquired. Press R to target the drone. Okay. Okay, so we got solid lock. Target. Makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. Oh I no. Set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Oh, I could destroy these defenseless drones easily. Target acquired. Can I shoot over? Nope. Or I bet I can't, I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. I get with the medium lasers. Ow! Oh! Crashing into something. Uh, where am I going? Where am I? 
Oh, there's one behind me. Okay, let's use the LRMs on it. Target destroyed. No problem. The lasers again. So, the medium lasers work a little differently in MechWarrior 5 than they have in other Battletech games. Uh, you actually kind of have to hold it on to them and melt them with it over a period of time. I believe that's how they work. That's like a, a Piranha Games change, which I, I don't disagree with it. There's apparently something right above me. There we go. Kind of reminds me of MechWarrior 2 a little bit. There was like a similar kind of obstacle course you had to go through. You had to move and shoot, but they were pretty uh, they were pretty strict on the timing in MechWarrior 2. Oh, let's take him out. There we go. Hey, oh. Oh, nice shooting. Now take up a position by the barricade. Okay, I've projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Okay. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot, if you need to. Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Sure is. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. All right, we're going to put a AC-10 right in on it. Oh, it survived. You see that there we go. Mech, both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs, <laughs> it's over for them. Take out both legs. Okay. Really? Target acquired. This mech is taking a beating. Cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. Okay. I guess I'm not actually hitting? Target acquired. Yeah, I must not be... Oh, I could see it on the top right. I'm, I'm not actually scoring a hit on his head. Where... Oh my god, that... that you, every time... That's a battle tag. That's a ba always been a mech warrior thing. It's really hard to sc score a headshot. I can't hit him! I'm hitting everything but his head. Ah. Oh. What? What? I, I. It's like I think I got to hit kind of like the sweet spot on him to be honest. So that was a center torso hit. There you go. Oh. Now we're almost done. <laughs> Don't look at me. Simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Look at him ragged all away. It's like he lost all of his gravity. With an urban mech. They're slow and poorly armored. Perfect for this particular test. Should be a piece of cake for a pilot like you. So, so far, very mech warrior feeling. Like, uh, I mean, like, uh, the last mech warrior game I played was mech warrior 4, and I would say the controls are transferring over pretty decently. I'm probably going to have to remap some of these around, like pushing three on the keyboard to fire my LRMs. I just don't think that's that's just not going to cut it for me. I'm going to have to map it to one of my... I have a mouse that has like a bajillion buttons. Okay, I guess this is an actual battle. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, he's got a small laser. Oh, we're already crashing into things. Where are you? Oh, I felt that.
I mean, I, I, I'm gonna, I need, I'm gonna fight him at long range with the missiles. I'm gonna use my missiles and my AC. Although I, he's hiding behind the building, so I can't get a. There we go. I'm still at the, I'm at the minimum range. Well, let's get moving then. Am I bumping into the instructor? Yes, I am. Oh yeah, I can just walk right through these buildings. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, we're in close range. I don't know if I can do melee combat in this. Going for his leg. Everything is red on him. I'm going for his leg. Oh, I'm turned around. Yeah, nice work. I think we can call it a day. The Centurion seems fully fit and ready for battle. Let's head back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pardon me, just whoops. I, I swear, I swear, like it's not a it's not something that normally happens. Like I normally don't run through all of the buildings and just <laughs> Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Pardon me. Coming through. Oh, no, no. I, I'm really sorry about that. I, I'll, I'll give you my number. You can contact the insurance company. When we get back to the base, we'll buy Bod a few beers to say thanks. Yeah, of course we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. I guess he's our, uh... Captain Mason, my senses are showing multiple dropships inbound on our location. I'm showing over a dozen bogies. Captain, I think we're under attack. No. Come on, let's go. We need to get back to the base. <laughs> Why is he running so stiff like? That's silly looking. Oh, there's a leopard. Oh, oh, we're gonna fight some real battle mechs now. Real battle mechs. Let's shoot back! A commando? Oh, never mind. You, I surrender. You win. We're not fighting a king crab. Get to the base now. I'm gonna try and draw them off. By yourself? We can fight them together. No. From what Rihanna says, there's too many of them. Don't worry, I'm just gonna distract them. I'll catch up with you. Now go! Okay, I... The base is under heavy bombardment. I've ordered a full evac. You need to hurry. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, copy that. Oh, God. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Is that really the way you want to play this? Seriously. They sound like they're Scottish or Irish. To our Nikolai. It'd be a shame to have to kill your only son over what? A set of numbers. You've done your research, I see. But you're too late. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a good fight. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Just the hunchback would already be a bit of a battle. Why, why don't I just turn around and shoot the gunship? Oh. I guess it's like there's a pursuit or something. That's kind of lame. I figured I would actually play this part. I figured this would actually be something that, that I would actually have to pilot it through. Why, what happened to being a distraction? Like, it looks like you're actually just fighting them. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you fight a king crab. The <laughs> commando's like, oh, oh, oh. Why, why would you get so close? He just ate the heavy autocannon hit. 
Like, King Crab is like, oh man, what are you, small? I don't feel that. He steps on his own guy. He's like, don't care. Uh, th that's got you, you know that was the kill shot because of how like dramatically it focused on the cannon. I guess we're supposed to feel sad that oh no the trainer guy is dead, but I mean, we haven't even developed any like I don't know. Like, like I said, I don't expect the story. We're we're not gonna be. I don't think we're gonna be playing this for the story. To put it simply. I can't, can't, I can't, what's happening? Okay, so we're in DeBerry, six days after the attack on Hello. Cavalier Base. Sorry to wake you, but our Citrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Is this a bonsai tree? Is that like a futuristic, is that what we use for a mouse these days? Like, instead of that, we have this, like, little Atari-looking joystick. Somebody drew a smiley. That's like a... Probably a... That's probably actually a replica or something. It's 2.05 in the afternoon, I assume. Oh, don't wake me up in the morning. Well, actually, it would be dark. Anyways, I think that's probably good enough. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can save, and I don't know. That's our first episode. Definitely uh, driving my battle mech like a drunken rhinoceros. It's going to take a little while before I rebuild the coordination to actually maneuver the battle mech in an effective manner. But hey, 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 hey. That's just the beginning. Maybe I'll play Mech Warrior 4 sometime as well. At any rate... Hopefully this video did not fry my computer as I attempted to record it, but we'll see. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like this video, feels entertaining, subscribe for future MechWare 5 content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.